take all the high and leave all the lows behind. Keep on wanting. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? And bring it back to you. And bring it back to you. And some people. Um, Padme, so, uh, do you come here often? Okay, bye. Welcome back, guys. My name is Damien. I'm Alex. And we are OMC. We make short films. We review movies. Last night, we... That's scary out there. Last night, we saw War. Last night, we saw War for the Planet of the Apes. And, um... I'm kind of speechless already, but um, Alex, what is this movie about? So, War for the Planet of the Apes is the third in a trilogy of uh, movies, m m m movies about monkeys taking over the planet. Um, if you've seen the other five, you kind of know where they're coming from here, but this is a new take on it. And uh, this one has to do a little bit more with the final war that ends in the creation of the Planet of Apes. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> um, okay, so um, this is the this is the third movie yes, in sir. the new trilogy of Planet of the Apes mm -hmm. movies. You had Rise, you had Dawn, and now we have War. And there is definitely a war a brewing in both Caesar and in the planet Earth. Really, this is like the deciding moment mm -hmm. in history where it will become the, the planet, planet of Apes. The planet of Apes, and it's very exciting. And I highly recommend that you watch these movies back to back because they're such a good it's a fluid movie for sure when you watch them one two three i mean there's time in between them yeah. but it, it's just the seeing the character development through all three of them and how the world transitions into what it's become it's so good it's it's really crazy yeah this movie is mesmerizing uh i it is beautifully beautifully shot the animation is the best in a movie i have ever seen and my goodness looks like real monkeys it really it just, does it just look if if apes took over the planet this is what it would look like yeah it, and like and at first i was kind of like okay because uh, whenever you go see a effects driven mm -hmm. movie you sometimes do look for the bad cgi the flaws you do like go mm, that one that one doesn't look that great but at the start of this movie i was kind of like okay and again to no fault of its own i could tell that the monkeys were cgi at first but then when they get a shot of caesar walking i was like no that is a dude in a it has to be yeah. it has to be a guy in a suit because it looks so damn good and i it's it's what makes this movie just a home run because everything looks good the yeah. the apes the scenery the fact that it's real locations, it's really, it's really but crazy. with CGI monkeys in it, it's just, it's incredible. And every and the, facet of this movie, when you actually like think about it, just blows your mind. Because it seems so surface, like, oh, it's just a movie, yeah, CGI was great, yeah, the music was great and stuff like that. But because of the type of movie that this is, all of that has to work. And it doesn't just have to like, yeah, it was alright. The music has to be incredible because there's not a lot of dialogue. Yeah. There's a lot of scenes where monkeys have to sign to each other. And it needs to make that scene emotional or epic. Mm -hmm. And because the music is there and because the CGI looks so not CGI, it works 100%. And I loved every second of it. Uh, I think there was a couple parts in the movie where they could have gone very wrong. Um, a couple characters that they introduced that could have just screwed the entire oh, movie of, up. Are you thinking of Bad Ape? Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, but... They they played it off so very well. They, they they introduce a a character <clears throat> called Bad Ape in this mm -hmm. movie, and um, he is played by Steve Zahn. Which if you don't know who that is, we will pull up a picture of it like right here. And once you see him, you'll be like, he's in that movie. He speaks an ape, and it could have like Alex said went wrong right away. The moment he opens his mouth, you could have been like, no 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 don't no 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 yeah. don't do this please 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 please. But that close. my goodness, does it work? And, well, and he is such a he's such a different character compared to Caesar. These like oh, yeah. grizzly like I do not want them and to talk to me or like one of, I'm scared. One of the things they did so well in this movie is meld these characters together. Makes I think sense. that's something that they've done very well in each of these movies individually is kind of bridge the gap between the monkeys and the humans. Yeah. Because you'll have 
the bad characters that are trying to, they're, I mean, they're causing the issue, and then you have the good characters that may be part of that guy's cause, but it's not, like, they, they don't want to kill yeah. innocent yeah. apes or innocent humans, and so seeing Caesar deal with that, and the, it's just, it's really cool it's just, having those Everybody characters. is just the product of their own environment, so, like, a <laughs> lot of the apes... Even some of the apes have turmoil within them, which you yeah. saw in Dawn, and then the humans have it too, because we all just, we all want to survive, but we also don't want to be animals, because then we stoop to the level of the apes, which is the things that we're fighting, and it's so good. And there's a lot of symbolism, this movie isn't just, oh, just, like, apes and humans is, fighting each other, it's not it that. Is, there's, it is crazy. There's a lot of put in there. alluding to, like, slavery, there's a lot of, like, Holocaust imagery too, with, like, Hitler and stuff like that, and... In a movie like this, it just works. It's perfect. And then you're like, oh, that is kind of messed up what they're doing. You're like, oh, wait, that, yeah, we did that. <laughs> that's like, history repeats itself. And that's a, that's a fine motive in this movie. And, um, I mean, I could go, I could just go on forever yeah. about how much I love this movie. I... All right, guys, so, um, overall, I, I truly, truly believe that this movie is, is a masterpiece of filmmaking all around CGI directing, and I cannot, cannot get over the directing. This is a movie you can watch over and over again and just look at some of those shots. And I, I'm just excited that this wrapped up so well. This is this is the end of a truly mm -hmm. a truly trilogy. It really is. And of course, they could keep making more movies. They really could. But kind of like Logan, this movie ends on such a good note, It's you almost don't want them to touch it. Um, yeah. And that, that goes to saying how great this movie is. And this will be the first time I do it on this channel, and it is definitely not the first time I've done this in in my own life, in my own time, but I will give this movie 10, 10 little chimpanzees out of 10. I think this movie <laughs> is perfect. I, As of right now, there is nothing I would change about this movie. There is one, and I mean one, exposition scene in this movie, and it flows so well for me because it's a character moment for a lot of people and if I were going to complain about something, that would be it. But I can't because everything else about this movie is so great. Again, 10 out of 10. Masterpiece. Because, it, I mean, there's nitpicky parts in it. And there's a lot of things that you could tear apart. And you could say that, well, that doesn't make sense. Or, like, if this was happening in real life, yada, yada, yada. But it just, the movie is so good. Filmed the way that it's acted. And the interaction between the characters that it almost doesn't matter. Yeah. And and that's kind of the thing for me in this film is that I could point out like 27 different little things throughout the film that maybe rubbed me in a wrong way, but all of them are just me being overzealous about this. Yeah. That makes sense, though. Yeah. Because, I mean, it, it, it is such a good movie, so a movie like this is hard to critique when you want to, when you yeah. want to be like, well... So then you really know, like that, but at you, the same time, you get down to the point where it's just like that's a bad color choice yeah, you're for the just, door. You're just picking out stuff so you can pick yeah. it out. So I'm gonna give it. I'm not gonna go ten out of ten. Uh, I am gonna go a nine out of ten. Though. Mm. I'm gonna go a nine out of ten. Grenade launchers. Oh, that is a deep cut. <laughs> <laughs> And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And so you do not forget, we are OMC. My name is Damien. I am Alex. And until next time. <laughs>